guys, this is Mad Travels. My name is Vanessa McCarthy, and uh, I'm here today to tell you guys a little more about my channel and why I'm here and what we're doing here. And um, I'm really excited and nervous. Yes, I'm very, very nervous. And uh, yeah, this is not something that's very easy for me to talk about for sure. So apologize. Uh, and I have a cat digging into my ass right now, so can you please stop? Uh, so just ignore that. But anyway, that's on me. So, all right. The reason that I created Mad Travels was to bring to you guys the stories of the people that I have met over the last year, year and a half that are all Muslim. My husband is Muslim and I am not. And I spent the last year and a half living in Tunisia. You know, I really feel it's important right now for those of us who who are interested to learn more about the Muslim people, the Muslim culture. A lot of people ask me, you know, why am I doing this? And, um, you know, I lost a great deal of friends and family when I decided to um, leave this country and move to Tunisia um, almost two years ago now. Um, I met my husband on the internet and we hit it off. I couldn't ignore it at all. Uh, it was too, it was amazing. And so for me, uh, it was something that I had to do. So, um, I was in a position in my life where I needed an adventure, I needed a change, I needed something to knock my senses straight again. I was failing in my life um, and with my career and I had lost a great deal. I had lost friends, I had lost myself. Uh, I was in a car accident that should have killed me in 2001 and it didn't uh actually i went to school at brooks institute of photography six months after being ejected out of my car going 70 miles an hour i graduated in 2005 at the top of my class and then after that it was like a slow decline so um by the time i met my husband it was like it just I just wanted something to bring me back to life again. Um, and for me, that this was it. You know, I mean, I had been obsessed with things like Indiana Jones and, you know, Pirates of the Caribbean and, and Aladdin and, you know, had always kind of fantasized about the pyramids. And, you know, when I was growing up, it it was like, my parents were very open and curious and creative and they let me be. So, I mean, you know, I, I was, you know, I did go to church when I was five from then on. That was on my own with my friends. So I, I was very curious too. So I started off, you know, trying my friends' churches and that sort of thing, but uh, was always an artist from a child I would draw and by the time I turned 14 uh, my high school started their photography program as a freshman so that I switched high schools so I lost all my friends from middle school they actually never talked to me again really um, so I because I wanted to go to this school because they had photography from freshmen other schools didn't or at least the school that all my friends went to so most of them so anyway, most, I lost all those friends. <laughs> um, uh, they had the impression I was going there because of a boy, but that was actually not the case. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, went to school, uh, went through photography at 14, 18, was working in a portrait studio, graduated, work, 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 went to, you know, school for photography, all that. My grandfather was also an ABC news cameraman. Um, so the first, uh, my first documentary at Brooks was actually about him, Thomas Earl Stevens. 
you can see that on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, anyway, so uh, right down here, actually, if you click this button right here, you can go and uh, watch uh, my documentary, My Grandfather's Camera. Anyway, all right, so as you can get from where I'm going with this, um, I that's what I am. I, I'm an adventurer. I want to I want to see the world. I'm curious. I want to know things. So to meet someone like my husband, who was someone I, I had never learned or known anything about the Muslim religion. So curious. Uh, but I didn't even know he was Muslim. He He's a very spiritual person like me. So um, and very open minded and all that. So it you know, it was never a topic of conversation for us. So, um, at all. So, um, yeah, uh, we fell in love very quickly. Actually, I had a dream about him. I had been dreaming about him all my life, but uh, I had a dream and I saw his face. And then that was the night before we were going to Skype for the first time. And then um, I... I Skyped with him the next day and it was him and I had, I, I'm a healer too. I, I actually, my school was in Santa Barbara and I ended up becoming a Reiki master and uh, learned all kinds of different healing techniques and things also while getting my degree in photography. So, um, anyway, so, so yes, uh, I had a dream about him and saw him in the dream. Then we Skyped the next day and uh, the rest was history. Three months later, I was uh, selling all my stuff and losing all my friends and family, uh, getting on a plane and leaving uh, for Tunisia. So, and I did had no idea what I was in for, I can tell you that. But I'm so glad I did it. Uh, yeah. yeah, so we're coming up on our two-year anniversary in March. Um, oh so yeah, there you go. I hope you'll come check it out. Really good stuff. And if you really want to know what it's like to be a real Muslim person, the the religion is fascinating. It really is. It's very based in science and uh, a real person. Muhammad was a real man. He, he uh, his body, his physical belongings are all in Mecca. That is what Mecca is. Uh, and their yearly, ha the Hajj is a pilgrimage to Mecca. So uh, it's after Ramadan. It was just this last month, this month. Now, I think it is actually. Um, and I'm sending my prayers and love to those who uh, died in the tragedy in Mecca, actually. Uh, it's very, very sad. Um, but they are in paradise. So that's what they, they believe that. Uh, and I agree with that. That's neat. But I, you know, I embrace and accept whatever anyone wants to believe because it's all in here, you know. So that's what I feel. Anyway, uh, so yeah. I, I hope you enjoy everything. It's, it's a crazy journey. Here's my kitty. Hi. That's Topaz. Thank you, Topaz. Appreciate that. So, yes. Thank you, everyone. And uh, thanks for hearing me ramble uh, for this time. And uh, if you have any questions, please check out the comments. I'm happy to talk to anyone and answer any questions. So I, I just, I really hope that you guys will watch and see that in fact, no one has ever asked me once to be Muslim. No one has ever asked me anything. And I have lived in a Muslim country, not in a tourism place for two years, almost two years, excuse me, because I've had to travel back and forth. But... <laughs> What does that say? If I move to a polygamous community, are they going to ask me to be a polygamist? If I move to a highly Christian community in the middle of Kentucky, Utah, are they going to ask me to be Christian? What do you think? Huh?
just want you to think about it. That's all. Thanks. Vanessa McCarthy and uh, I am here with um, myself. <laughs> hey you guys, this is Vanessa McCarthy and you are with us now because you're watching this. So I guess I wouldn't need to. This is not as easy as it looks.